Well, good day, my railroaders. Camera's trying to get away on me. Okay, I think I'm getting addicted to eBay. Just saying. Uh, picked this up the other day. Um, actually, it was, I think last Friday? Friday or Saturday last week, I ordered this all the way from Texas. Showed up real quick. I work for a hydro company. I, uh, I build transformer yards. So one thing I wanted to get on my layout was one of these, just to have it at least. I know on my present layout that I've got, I got some 18 inch curves, some 22, and uh, a lot of it's nice and close. And it probably won't run on this layout. But I'm gonna try to put it together, see what it looks like. the box kind of a shine on there sorry it is massive though this thing is huge I think I picked it up for $150 American so with the exchange rate and all that about two 230 Canadian and I guess the good part about eBay is when it goes across the border and hits customs and all that stuff they don't nail you with fees and, and taxes and all that so Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this thing put together and uh, see what it actually looks like. Hold on. This isn't a, a review video by any means. This is just a, basically a video of, look what I got. Because I'm kind of excited for this one. So this, that's the box that comes in. HO scale 380 ton Chernobyl car. North American style. Flip the box over. The unique design allows it to carry extremely heavy and oversized loads, such as generators, transformers for power stations, by making the load an element of the car. The two tapered lifting arms that hold the load resemble a bird's beak, which gave the car its name, Chernobyl. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sure there's many ways. Which is a German word for carrying beak wagon. Sure. Chernobyl is a funny name for a seriously powerful freight car. And the features of it, 16 sets of 125 ton roller bearing trucks, and yeah, there's a lot of them. Prototypically correct, 36 inch metal wheels, RP25 wheel contours, eight span bolsters, detailed transformer load. Like I said, I work in a hydro yard. It's not very detailed. Modeled hydraulic lines and pumps. And of course, right there it says, performs best on 22 inch radiuses or better. what it looks like outside of the package. Okay. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay guys, there's the uh, Chernobyl car on the rails. As you can see, it is quite big. Took a bit of work to get it on the rails too. That is a lot of wheels to line up. like in the box. It's got the uh, plastic cover on it so it's not glaring down on you. So. 